Let's talk about the four different ways there are to make yarn overs. And this applies if you're a English style knitter, if you're holding the working yarn in your right hand. As you can see, I've got this divided into four sections and I'm going to do each yarn over type twice in each section. Knitting two from my garter stitch edge. First type is the one that we're all real familiar with. I'm going to knit, make a yarn over, and then knit. And to make the yarn over, you're actually bringing the yarn forward and knitting the next stitch. Do it again. Knit, bring the yarn forward, and knit the next, and the next. Here are my yarn overs, and you can see they lean to the left. In the next section, I'm going to put a yarn over between two purls purl the first. Now in order to make the yarn over lean to the left, it actually is a yarn over. You bring the yarn over the right handed needle and back into the purl position and then purl. And I do one more. And we'll do it a second time. Purl the first. Bring the yarn over the right handed needle, back in the purl position, and then purl the next stitch, and the next. Okay, type three. In this section, I'm going to knit, make a yarn over, and then purl. In order to get the yarn over to lean to the left again, First we bring the yarn forward and then up and over the needle and then purl. And I have to do another one to make my pattern work out. And here's my second try at it. Knit, yarn over, purl. And it's really a knit, yarn forward, yarn over, purl and purl again. Last type. Now I'm going to do a purl followed by a knit. And this is the easy type. This is the type of yarn over that we have all made accidentally because you purl and then you do nothing. You just knit and the yarn brings itself up and over the needle to the left. I'm sure we've all done that, whether we wanted to or not, when we were making ribbing like knit two, purl two. Once more, purl, do absolutely nothing, and just knit. And now I'm going to let my last two for the edge. I'll take a look at it all. Here we go, the four types of yarn overs. 